Hi everyone, my name is Roman. I'm an engineer behind Emitter serverless platform. And one of the features Emitter offers is publish and subscribe of um, topics, we call them channels, using MQTT protocol. MQTT is a protocol originally invented by IBM and uh, works for kind of IoT and generally uh, low latency um, high throughput type of uh, publish subscribe systems right and one of the common questions I've been asked is hey uh, how do I use MQTT spy which is this open source tool written in Java together with emitter broker so I can kind of publish some messages subscribe to some channels and actually get the feel of how it all works so uh, in this video today, I'm going to show you how to do so. So obviously, first thing to do is go into uh, and download MQTT Spy. I personally already did so, but if you don't have it, uh, you can go in GitHub and download this jar, run with Java, and launch. Right. Once you launch it, you get something like this. So this is um, this is UI, MQTT Spy, and lets you do all those things. So what you want to do here is create a new connection. So for this demo, I'm going to use Emitter Cloud, which is our hosted broker. If you don't want to, you can use your own broker, of course. And essentially what you want to do is um, create a new connection, uh, give an IP, right? In this case, API Emitter IO is our cloud broker, give it a port. So by default, the meter listens on TCP 8080, and uh, if you have um, SSL, it listens on 443 for um, SSL, right? So here I have an unsecured connection. Give the name, apply, and now we can connect. Right? So if it's green here, and we have a green tab, that means We've successfully connected to broker. Now we can we're ready to publish and subscribe. To do so, we need to now create a channel and create a channel key. So in case of a meter cloud, I want to go in my console security page and create a channel key. So in emitter channels are non-persistent; they can be created and terminated um, at will. So we don't actually need to create a channel. We just need the key to be able to publish and subscribe to the channel. So right, we need to have publish and subscribe. Uh, let's give it a 3000 seconds expiry time. And let's create the uh, MQTT spy channel. Right. So we have a key and our channel name is MQTT spy. So this channel key will be able to publish and subscribe to MQTT Spy channel for 3000 seconds. Now, given that, we can go here and try to publish something. So the way channels in Emitter are organized, you have to enter the channel key, then the channel name, right? Or if you have sub channels, that's where they go, right? A, B, C. In our case, we have MQTT spy. Now we can send something. Uh, it's like it worked, but we don't know, right? There's no subscriptions. There's no way for us to know if the message was actually published successfully. So let's also create a subscription for this channel. The same key in our case can be used for both. So we can create a subscription. Subscription is created. Right. And we can publish again. Now, we now here have uh, a message published and received in MBT Spy. Where we can publish, we can see the number of messages goes up. And again, publish something else. You get different messages, right? The hello world. Now, the interesting thing is in MQTT Spy, um, it will appear in all 
tab. Right? So all the received messages will appear, appear here. Uh, the reason being the channel key is actually not sent back to MQTT spy by meter broker. Right? So meter broker says, hey, I have subscribed to this particular uh, channel structure, but I'm receiving a message back to on MQTT spy without the channel key. Obviously, you don't want to have a channel keys transferred to your subscribers, so it's a security concern. But that's how we would do it. All right, thank you. Thank you for your time, and uh, please click subscribe, and I will we'll publish more videos about emitter and hopefully general programming tips.